our mission in life to make other people's lives easier and to sort of leave the world a bit better than we found it. For a tech industry giant deemed largest in the world, Apple has been very quiet in the generative AI space until now. They are finally entering into the market with Apple GPT, but in typical Apple fashion, this new product has remained a close guarded secret. So we'll take a look at what we know so far and what it could mean for the future of AI. Let's jump in. Apple has always played by its own rules, while other tech giants raced to release their latest AI creations at conferences and in the media, Apple has chosen to remain quiet and focus on building a quality product. They've actually been accused of falling behind in the AI race, even though they've been integrating AI into all of their products for some time. Take Siri, for instance, which graced our devices in 2011. Siri can understand natural language and respond to various queries. For example, I can ask it to set a timer, play music, get directions or control my home devices. It's one of the earliest embodiments of AI in their ecosystem. The company has also made AI headway in other areas, including improvements to photos and search on the iPhone. More recently, at the Worldwide Developers Conference last June, AI was behind some of their most exciting new features, like the improved iPhone autocorrect, which learns how you text and type, and a smarter AirPods Pro that learns your listening preferences over time. Apple's CEO, Tim Cook, acknowledges this, saying, We've obviously made enormous progress, integrating AI and machine learning throughout our ecosystem, and we've weaved it into products and features for many years. The company even expanded its artificial intelligence efforts in 2018, with the hiring of John Giannandria, former Google AI head, to head up the company's machine learning efforts. So why have they all of a sudden gone quiet? Unlike other tech firms that show off their work, document it, go to conferences, publish, and collaborate. Apple doesn't talk about the tech they're working on until they've mastered an outstanding user experience. Tim Cook says the company will continue to add AI technology to more of its products, but on a very thoughtful basis. But what about generative AI? It's all the buzz these days. Is Apple falling behind in that area? Well, it's complicated. Tim Cook himself says the technology has potential, but there are still a number of issues that need to be sorted. The generative AI we have right now raises a lot of security concerns on privacy. And for a brand that's all about user privacy, that wouldn't end well. Plus, Apple hates the errors of large language models. They even banned their workers from using ChatGPT because of the potential for leaked information and its hallucinations that produce false information. So. It's not exactly that Apple is falling behind, it's just that they're treading very carefully on this contentious area. Instead of rushing to release half-baked AI products, they take their time to observe and learn from the experiences of others in the AI space. And this exactly, this reputation for being cautious, is the reason Apple GPT has taken so long to arrive and also why it's surely going to change things around here. Now the big question is, what actually is Apple GPT and what do we know of it? Despite Apple's secrecy, Bloomberg's exclusive report has shed some light on the project they've been quietly working on. Engineers dubbed it as Apple GPT, in reference to ChatGPT, the most famous AI chatbot in the world right now. Clearly, it's the news we've all been waiting for. Investors see it as a sign that Apple is taking generative AI seriously, and Apple shares gained as much as 2.3% to a record high of $198.23 after Bloomberg's report. Apparently, Behind the scenes, Apple has been growing increasingly concerned about potentially missing a crucial shift in how devices operate. Generative AI has become the new frontier, and Apple has been under pressure to keep up with the rapid advances in AI, as the company's devices generate a staggering revenue of nearly $320 billion in the last fiscal year alone. That's why they began laying the foundation for AI services with the Ajax framework. Apple's Ajax system has already played a significant role in improving Siri, and Lord knows how much Siri needs it. Despite releasing in 2011, Siri is consistently outperformed by competitors like Amazon's Alexa and Microsoft's Cortana, the reason being Apple's strict adherence to privacy standards. While other virtual assistants amass vast amounts of user data to train their AI models, Apple remains steadfast in its commitment to minimize and anonymize data collection. This has indeed resulted in a less data-rich assistant. But as Apple CEO Tim Cook likes to say, 
We reject the excuse that getting the most out of technology means trading away your right to privacy. Now Ajax has become an integral part of Apple's AI initiatives, this time with Apple GPT. Apple GPT is built on top of the Ajax framework and runs on Google Cloud. While the details are scarce, it is believed that Apple GPT is designed for internal use only, at least for now. Currently, it is available to some employees in the form of a web application with a stripped-down design. This suggests that the tool is not intended for consumers. Access to the system even requires special approval. The road to Apple GPT has been bumpy, with security concerns causing some delays. However, Apple is determined to ensure that its AI chatbot meets high privacy standards. This is especially important given the potential for data leaks associated with generative AI in third-party services. Despite these challenges, Apple GPT has already shown promising results within the company. Employees have been using the chatbot to assist with internal operations, such as product prototyping, summarizing text, and answering questions based on data it has been trained with. According to them, the company's tool essentially replicates BARD, ChatGPT, and Bing AI and doesn't include any novel features or groundbreaking technology. Nevertheless, Apple is actively working to improve its underlying models and is looking at ways to expand the use of generative AI within its organization. One possibility is to give the tool to Apple Care support staff who could use it to assist customers and enhance support services. This would ensure a seamless and private user experience. But what about the consumer angle for generative AI? Well, stay tuned because we have exciting news about that later. For now, what we do know are two things. One, that Apple's internal tools have a history of eventually becoming consumer-facing products, like what happened with Siri, FaceTime, and iWork. And two, that Apple has a history of entering new markets late, but when they do, they make sure to shake the industry upside down. And now that Apple's entering into the generative AI space, the landscape is poised for a transformation. Apple had a history of pioneering inventions, like the iPod, and even the iPhone was a complete overhaul of the mobile phone sector, which was soon copied by competitors. However, in recent years, Apple has been less innovative, often adding features and technology to their products after their competitors. Apple might be late to the AI party, but they've got a knack for taking existing technologies and making them so much better. That's precisely why Apple GPT holds so much promise. Apple's commitment to user privacy and security is what's going to set Apple GPT apart. As Apple CEO Tim Cook said, I do think that it's so important to be very deliberate and very thoughtful in the development and the deployment of these. They can be so powerful that you worry about things like bias, things like misinformation, maybe worse in some cases. Cook also believes that regulation is something that's needed in this space. Joining the chorus of calls from industry leaders cautioning about the possible negative consequences of AI. We actually did a video on that, so check it out here if you're interested. But Apple's cautious approach to AI development means that they have been taking the time to address all the harmful concerns surrounding generative AI. So when Apple GPT arrives, it won't be just another AI chatbot. It'll be a refined, polished, and privacy-focused tool integrated seamlessly into Apple's ecosystem. As Apple moves forward with AI initiatives, Users can be assured that their data remains protected while enjoying the benefits of AI-powered features on their devices. This gives Apple a significant edge in AI development by maintaining its trustworthiness among its loyal user base. But when will we witness Apple GPT? Well, the company doesn't yet have a concrete plan yet, but there are exciting speculations from people familiar with the work that a significant AI-related announcement could be on the horizon next year. So let's all watch out for that. Who knows what groundbreaking developments await us? I, for one, am very excited about what Apple has in store. What about you? Do you think Apple's cautious approach to AI is the right way to go? Or should they be more proactive like the other tech giants? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date with the latest tech news and insights, make sure to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel, Tectonic Shift. Your support means the world to us and it helps us keep bringing you more exciting content like this. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you in the next video.